What is going on guys welcome back now on this channel I already have a lot of videos on Python chats but this is a topic that you cannot recycle enough so today I'm going to make a video for the beginners for the new Python developers and I'm going to show you how you can build a simple Python chat as fast as possible so let's get right into it I'm going to switch to PyCharm here we're going to create a new file and the first file is going to be called server.py so this one is going to host the connection uh, we're going to import socket, we're going to create a server socket by saying socket, 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 af inet, and sock stream, like that. Then we're going to say server listen, we're going to say client address is going to be server.accept, so we're going to accept the connection, and then we're basically going to say, I don't know, um done equals false and we're going to say while not done we're going to receive from the client so we're going to say print client receive we're going to receive 1024 bytes whatever we we receive we're going to decode using utf-8 uh, and then we're going to send something as well we're going to send client dot send and uh, we're going to send whatever we want to send. So for example, we're going to send the input. So message, and then we're going to encode this using UTF-8. And this is going to, to happen all the time. Now, maybe what we can do here is we can say that this is a message. So message is whatever we receive. And then we're going to print that message. And if the message here is equal to quit, then we're going to set done to true. Otherwise, we're going to print this message here. So this is the server part. Now we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this file client.py. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to import socket. But this time, oh, by the way, I forgot one thing, we need to bind the server to the host and port. So we're going to bind it in this case to localhost and port 9999. Now the client is going to have a client socket, so socket, 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 AF inet, and sock stream again, there you go. Now we're going to connect to this address and port, so client.connect, and we're going to connect to localhost, and four times the nine, and then we're going to do the same thing here, we're going to say while not done, we need to define done first, so done here is also going to be false, while not done. And we're going to start by here we receive. So here we send first, we're going to say client send whatever we want. So input message. We're going to encode this using UTF eight. And then we're going to print whatever we get as a result here. So client receive 1024 bytes decode them using utf-8 and this is happening all the time here again we can do the same thing essentially so we can uh, actually say again this is the message that we get from the server and if this message is equal to quit then we're going to just set done to true otherwise we're going to print the message and that's it. All right, so in order to test this, we're going to right click the server and run it in the command line, you would just go with Python, Python three, uh, and the server py file, uh, then we're going to do the same thing for the client, right click, run it in PyCharm. And now I can enter the message. Hello, for example, I can go to the server, you can see hello is here. So I can say, hey, as a result, uh, then I can go to the client, you can see, hey, what's up question mark? Not much. How about you? There you go. And so on and so forth. Now I can say quit. And it quits. And here are uh, the servers are running. Now if I try to type something, uh, it quits and here as well. So what we can also do here is we can close the sockets in the end. So we can say client close, this is just cleaning up the whole thing here. Um, and you want to also do this for the server, obviously here client close and server close. 
This is how you build a simple chat in Python. Now, some of you guys that are new to Python might want to understand what's happening here. So let me explain it briefly. What we do here in the server is we create a new socket that we get from the socket module here. We create a new socket. We define that this is an internet socket for internet communication. Alternatives are Bluetooth, for example, infrared and so on. We want to use the internet socket. We want to define that this is a sock stream. So it's a stream based socket. It's a connection oriented socket in this case using the TCP protocol. We bind this socket onto localhost with the port 9999. We listen, then we accept incoming connections. As a result of that, we get a client that we can use for communicating. So this server socket here is used to listen for connections. This client socket that we get here as a result is the socket that we use for the actual communication. Here we just define a basic loop and we constantly receive and decode using UTF-8 um, whatever we get from the client. Then if this mes a message was quit, we uh, quit the loop here. Otherwise we print the message, then we send a message ourself, uh, ourselves and once we're done, we close the socket. So we do the same thing for the client except for the fact that here we connect to an already existing server instead of hosting ourselves. We still have an internet socket running on TCP. We connect to the same host uh, and we send first, then we receive the rest is the same. So that's it for this quick video today. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.